This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it is the Awesome Cast episode 378. I almost added 100 to us. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the wonderful Sorgatron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. That's a little that's a little angled more towards Sean than it is outside, but we'll fix that later. Uh, but we got the crew here, the first show of 2018, ready to talk tech and get geeky. First of all, here on the couch. Joining us in studio is John Chichilla. He's the gadget guru at the Big Bank International Esquire. How's it going? Those are some nice stuffed vegetables. Oh, stop being Those distracted. Look delicious. Stop being distracted by the slideshow on Google, <laughs> on the Google Chrome. It's it's very vibrant. Though. How was your holiday, good sir? Mm-hmm. Was it filled with tech goodiness? It was it was definitely filled with tech goodiness, weddings, all kinds of weddings. I saw some fun. wedding pictures going on yes, out there. My yeah. sister got married. Oh, awesome. So, love, lovely uh New Year's Eve wedding. It was it was quite fun. Awesome. And also joining us because the holiday visitation oh nope, there I am. The holiday visitations are still happening. Katie Dudas, the Dudders, is joining us from Newcastle up there. Not only from the great state of Newcastle. The great state of Newcastle, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> She's of course the uh director of sales and marketing over at the Scare House. Doing fun stuff yes. there. Oh yeah, still st- doing stuff. Still doing stuff. Still, I-, I saw you freezing your butt off in the uh, the best of video that you guys did, or the the recap video, I guess, for the year. Um, I I love that the-, the her standing on the box made the video final cut. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she looked great. We looked like a, a normal group of people. We all looked at like average heights. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, how you doing up there? Oh, good. Uh, I'm enjoying this lovely weather, like everybody else. I'm going to pretend I didn't completely like hang out with you last week. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm geographically I'm trying to think of the right proper hmm. word for it. That's politically correct. So I don't know my geography. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, so how far is, you have no idea where Katie is. So, no, I know Newcastle is North. I'm okay. in a bunker. <laughs> you're, in a bunker. Yeah. you're in a bunker under the a, studio. You're in a wood paneled bunker. Because... How far is it from Erie? Like, do you get Power. the same? Do you get the same snow that Erie gets now? No, no. Uh, okay. no My no, mom's no. south enough that she does not. Thankfully, no, absolutely. Even I visited a little north, more north than she did uh, on Christmas Day, and and still, it, it was like right below the line of where it was bad. Uh, the insane, like fifty three inches, five feet of snow that that happened up there. And we, but a lot of our friends are from Erie and do visit for the holidays, and we're very much in the snow. Uh, for the holidays, it's been it's been fun to fun because we weren't there uh, to see their <laughs> uh, see their their pictures of everything. So, but this is the awesome cast. Like I said, we talk about geeky things and tech and everything from a Pittsburgh state of mind. You can check us out here here every Tuesday live at awesomecast.net. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and the Google Music. As well as the video versions are over on the AwesomeCast YouTube and Facebook page. And of course, we're live every Tuesday at live.awesomecast.net at 7 p.m. Eastern, which is through the Facebook Live these days. And also thanks to our friends, uh, streaming partners over at riversedgepgh.com, where we're there Saturdays at 9 a.m., as well as the 405media.com, where they've been carrying us at 9 a.m. Pacific time uh, every, every weekday, five days a week. Uh, thank you for uh, carrying us there. That's noon Eastern for you guys in the Pittsburgh area. And also, hey, uh, shout out RiversEdgePGH.com uh, uh, or Rivers Edge, the Rivers Edge on uh, your tune in or however you want to, to check that out or on Facebook. I will actually be on the stream uh, talking with them about 12 years of Wrestling Mayhem show this Saturday at 10 a.m. on, uh, on uh, uh, River Talk. 
with Brian. And of course, Brian just joined us on the last episode of 2017. Um, so uh, look out for that and join us there. And of course, it'll be on their podcast streams as well. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, Matt Weller, Coffee Club $5 level, as well as Michael Fedor, who again, also joined us on the last episode of 2017 uh, at the friend of the show dollar level. There's plenty of levels there. Uh, we, uh, got, we got right into doing our Patreon gold for you guys, of course. And uh, judging by how Comcast is treating our stream tonight, you may be the only ones that get to see it. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe even this show. I don't know what's happening with the live stream. I'm seeing it go yellow and red the entire time. I feel like it's still Christmas lights going on on my monitor. Uh, but no, please support the show if you like what's going on here at patreon.com slash awesomecast. And uh, let's get into our awesome things of the week. Uh, Katie, I, it sounds like you might have a list of things. So I figured I'd start with you. All right. Do we are we are we Christmas time in it? Or you can Christmas you, time you, you it. Yeah, you can do multiple. I want to I want to hear the twelve days of the twelve days of Dutter's, Dutter's Christmas. I've, I have like two. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, do you want to see my new speaker? I'll show you my new speaker. That'll be number one. I got an iHome speaker. Oh, Look how pretty she Ooh, is. Ooh. Wow, I like that. Isn't that neat? Ooh. It's a, it's like the new age lava lamp. It is so pretty. Wait, hold on. I gotta, get, I gotta read you in. I don't know if you can see, but even the box is amazing. Like, oh, you turn geez. it and it changes. Look at that. Can you set the way it changes colors? Or is yes, it, I guess like... you can change it different colors. It's got a battery level. It'll change colors for the battery. Uh, it pulses to the music. Ooh, and it's got a wrist strap. I can mobile it. <laughs> Dud- Dudders is throwing throwing car, car raves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But yeah, this is my, uh, it's, it's about the size of a pop can, about the same weight too. So it's really neat. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can take calls on it. I can talk to it. It'll facilitate my phone calls. I could probably put you guys on it. She should have tried exciting. to pump us through that. It would have, it would have, yeah, man, it would have pulsed with our voices. Yeah, that'd be fun and putting it on behind <laughs> you and everything. Because I mean, you are having, I guess we should point out if you're wondering about her audio uh, over there. Uh, you are suffering. Anyway, you. you are some, suffering from the upgrade, uh, the dongle upgrade uh, issues of of a f- iPhone X. So, <laughs> yeah, I just ordered one, a new one from Amazon because they had a lightning deal for it. Mm-hmm. Because I completely, I am not used to this fact that I, I need a dongle for things, and mine is in my gym bag with my headphones for the gym mm-hmm. and backpack. That's exactly why I had to buy a second dongle. Like, I need like no you just need to put them everywhere, right? Yeah. At this point, you just uh, connect them to all your sets of headphones. And yeah, call it a yeah, day. and you just buy a yeah, bunch of them. Much. You will lose them. I had the same thing with just headphones. I can't even imagine what's going to be like at that point. Did you buy the Apple branded dongle? No. Let me know what I dongle. Out. Let me, let me know what dongle you got, and let me I know how something. well it works. Because I got a really slick metal braided silver one that looked super cool. Ooh. But the and it was like all of two dollars and it was about worth two dollars because Jeez. anytime I got a phone call, it would like make that annoying, like squeeching digital noise in the background. Oh, I just oh, well, oh, like, oh, like that. <laughs> it was not that cool. <laughs> um, and it would it would con- I constantly had problems with it. So if yours works efficiently, um, let me know because I'll purchase whatever you got. Yeah, it is. Where did it go? Two in one lightning adapter. Oh, it's fancy. I'm the future, so I can charge it and use it. At, oh, at, yours has the double ended dongle. Yeah, I'm a double dongle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Amander is the brick. I feel like I, I feel like all of these are things that are have different meanings if you go to Urban Dictionary. Uh, Katie, <laughs> what what else, what else do you have up there? Oh, I have. Okay, so you're gonna love this. I'm actually using my number two as a um, uh, helping me with my stand where my setup is because I'm not using a cat pedestal. Okay. I, bought, I got a new printer. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Check this beast. Oh out. wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently yeah. So I'm using it to hold up my stand. But the coolest thing about this is like you refill this area here with this, so it's not like the individual. Oh, okay. So, the, 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 what is it? So, for for people who may want to look it up on your, on, uh, you know, it's Canon. Pix, it, it's, it's, it's a uh, Pixma G forty two hundred. Okay, and there's like these tubes of ink instead of the cartridges, and you just kind of ta- yeah. manually take those those tubes, and, and so you're not actually replacing cartridges themselves. Mm-hmm. It's they're called mega tanks. Mega tanks. Mega tanks. So, yep. 
so what the ink that they comes with will print 6,000 black pages, like black and white pages, or 7,000 color pop sheets. Does it, so essentially, it's like it um, pays for itself once you start <laughs> playing ink and stuff. But it's it's an all-in-one. Um, it even prints wirelessly from my computer and also my phone. So Oh, it does air print. Nice. Yeah, it does air print. Nice. So yeah, I Man. just got this bad boy today. Cost me Thank you, Mama Dutters. I'm not ready for air print. I, I, I'm still getting used to Wi-Fi print. <laughs> So <laughs> was it the, the 4200 or the 3200? The you are the future. <laughs> <laughs> what what model what model number was it? What what model number was it? Hmm? Well, what model number was it? The printer. Uh Pixma G as in George 4200. There you go. And and uh Chilla's completely just buying it right now apparently. So it's, not now but I'm booking it. It's pretty phenomenal. It, I'm real it's... excited about it. There you go. You have any other? It feels much less wasteful. <laughs> nice. Are you? Uh, do you have any other awesome things of your holiday? Uh, not no. Well, nothing techy wise. Nothing no, techy. No. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what about you, Chilla? What are your awesome things? So, um, do you remember that I posted the thing in Slack, um, right before the holiday, and it was uh, I got a I got a random box delivered to my house. And what? It, do you yeah, if you go back on the Slack thread, okay, and you look and I I think I posted something like this is going to be an interesting tech thing for when we get back to the show. When okay. I, I took so many pictures at the wedding. Okay. I uh, I want to get the wording right for for the, the return mail address label on Oh, this wait, wait, wait. I do have this. My house. Okay, wait. I do have this and it was like it was kind of wait, wait, let me. So this is this is <laughs> hold on. I'll know I, do I have your address on here. No, I think I, okay, I purposely okay. cut it off. So it says my best friend. No, my no, oh my breast friend. That's yes. right. Breastfeeding's <laughs> breastfeeding's number one supplier. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this shows up at the house and I'm like, what is this? I know I like did I order something? Did I click the wrong button on Amazon? Like where what is this? Did Katie send me did something? Send I- <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Does it, did Carla not tell me something? Yeah, like yeah. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so um beam so if you go to the first link in the, the the tech item in the in the show notes um it's a product called beam authentic mm-hmm. um and their whole thing is create share and make an impact and it's a, an oled led button that you can put on your clothes it has like it's a double-sided magnet so it can go through um it can go through your your shirt and you're not putting holes in things. They have a like a kind of like a luggage tagger. You can throw it on your bag. Number number of different ways to uh, affix it to anything. Um, what it then allows you to do is upload any photos you want. And they've partnered with Giphy. So any GIF that you can find, you can add to your button. You can put it on a slideshow. Um, I think this is going to be great for things like PodCamp or if you're at a conference and you want to kind of show your corporate logo and then have it flash to your name and mm-hmm. then do a bunch of different things like that. Um, battery life on it is, I want to say rated at over 12 hours. Um, they have their own little social network where when you create something, you can then share it um, on the timeline publicly. So you can grab other people's um, what they call beams. Um, and you can, like I said, you can set it up to be a single, single static gif you can have it cycle through a bunch of slideshows um you can see what other people have done to kind of get ideas and then they have other ones where um you can actually donate to get certain badges for for different things like uh, does it cancer show, awareness does it show up is it a screen or is it like an e-ink like kind it's, of pebble kind of situation no it's a it's an oled it's a screen it looks like your cell phone okay it's wow. high quality and it's it's 99 dollars. okay so, so not not overly wow. expensive but, um, but still, like for a a button, I mean, well, it's, it's going to be Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It's I mean, Bluetooth. It's, okay, so I mean, there's a lot of technology to make that work. Yeah. So and they they have a thing that lets you do it, kind of like a pen. Like I said, they they let you do um, oh, it's 24 hours per charge. I apologize, not 12. Um, there's there's only two buttons on the thing. It, it charges over micro USB. I was pretty impressed with it. I even wore it um, uh, on Christmas, and I had like uh, an animated. Uh, neon Christmas tree. I had Santa with his sleigh in black and white, mm-hmm. kind of flow, flying over a town. Any, anything you can get a GIF of or or graphic 
create a graphic of uh, works well. Awesome. So, and it's uh, anything iOS or Android will let you sync up to it. Well, there you go. Go check that out. And that's uh, that's uh, beamauthentic.com if you want to check it out, right? Yep. So and and if you order it, don't don't be surprised when you get the the my breast friend <laughs> breastfeeding thing. <laughs> That's great. Um, so you know, not not much for new tech. I keep I, I keep going to the studio shot. Sorry, it's it's. it's oh, I got one more thing. Clear. Oh, you got one more thing. I got one more thing. My non tech item, and it's actually my favorite present um, that I got for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, my wife Carla got it for me. Um, it's a t shirt. Um, and if you watch the Flash on the CW and pay attention to it, um, there is a gentleman by the name of Cisco. He's their tech guy, and on the one episode. He wore a shirt that said haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I got this shirt for Christmas and I love it. I've, I've worn it, I think, three times since. Um, I don't think it's even been laundered yet. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's it's definitely one of my, my favorite. It is my favorite Christmas present. That's great. Geeky, but not techy. Yeah, he, <laughs> he usually has some pretty great ones on there. Like it, it's like, you know. Oh, uh, T Fury or something, you know. It's like, mm-hmm. like uh, I wonder if they just like have a deal with them that just like what Cisco shirt of the week, mm-hmm. you know, kind of situation. So that's awesome. Um, uh, Katie, you had another story as well, I believe, for your awesome thing. No, I just I had an interesting article. Do you want me to talk about that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll hold it off for later then. Uh, so I, you know, I didn't get a lot of new uh, uh, techiness uh, this season or anything, but um, I did have something practical. So you know, we I don't know how much we'll be able to do this in the future, um, considering the you know how how what the volume has been lately. But we uh, you know deliver cookies uh, out every every season. Uh, to you know, friends of the network and 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 uh, uh, some of our clients and everything like that. So uh, we had so many this year, and and even we had problems even delivering to everybody within a day uh, and, and getting some more out there. So maybe some people will get some cookies here in the next month uh, when we do our round two. But you know, there's always I take that day and we we're, we're driving all around the city and and doing all the drop offs. And I was like, well, there has to be something that will tell me a best route and best order to hit everybody up. Right, because sometimes maybe your your uh, uh, geography in your head, like like Chile doesn't know where Newcastle is, uh, gets messed up, and you end up doing some extra miles. Right, uh, so I end I, up in Erie. You end up in Erie <laughs> for some reason. Uh, so I found something called Route XL. So you, so if you go to routexl.com dot com, and I got the you could plug in all the addresses, tell you where you want your starting point, um. And tell you where you want your ending point. So I started like up in the Allentown neighborhood and I wanted to end uh, back around in the Dormont. And it told me where was the best way to go. Uh, so, you know, we went over to Kennedy Township and up to Cranberry and then over to Irwin and then around and down into like Bel Verdon and Roscoe area and back up. So it optimized the route as much as it could. And uh, it was a big price saved me a ton of time uh, during our routes. Uh, that we're doing so it's interesting that the link you provided too it has yeah it, it's your route well like, here's the thing i did i entered everything on a computer it gave me a share link and that's what i pulled up on the phone and when you click on the next address like there's links for everything from like navigate which opens up in like by default of course apple maps uh but uh yeah so it, it worked out really well very very cool so i like it because if you were trying to share a route or you had to if you had something that was route based and you had to have someone take over it for a day or a week or whatever. You could just say, here's the link. Absolutely. I could follow that. Yeah, because I mean, I'm like, you know, it's like this is something UPS does all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Like there has to be something out there that somebody's using a Google Maps applet that that can apply. And it was like, I was, and I basically Googled like, you know, optimized travel route or something like that. And this is something that came out. So routexl.com if you want to check that out. All right. Uh, so, hey, a big thanks to our friends at Slice on Broadway. It was good to... I, they missed us. They said we hadn't seen you for three weeks. I'm like, well, we we have a holiday break, guys. Uh, so, but it was good to be in there, say hi to some friendly faces. Uh, we dropped some, them some cookies here uh, last week, too, and made sure everybody got theirs. Uh, so, big thanks to our friends that have been supporting us for a good long time. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza uh, right here in Beachview and of course other locations in Carnegie PNC Park and East Liberty their their newest of locations 
Uh, thank you so much to those guys for supporting us. I know, Chili, you probably missed it. Are you, are you, or have you just been getting the slice? We, because of all the running around, unfortunately, we did not. I realized order that too. Any pizza over I, the holiday. I didn't get a chance to either. Like it, it was, it was just like oh, I didn't even like just to get some. I'll have, to, I'll have to order some. I'll, I'll pull another. I'll, I'll make up for it, Slice. I'll I'll do a, a triple order. Do one of those and uh, that you're you're sharing with your kid yeah. and you know and uh, some uh, what's the the white pizza with the chicken? Oh, the, the, the margarita? No, the, no, there's like an Athena or something like that. The chicken pesto pie. Mm. Chicken pesto pie and the um, slaughterhouse five. Those are usually the two we order. Oh boy, and they are delicious. All right. Oh, well, we had some submissions here. Oh, I keep doing that. Keep some submissions here from our uh, uh, guests or our friends. And well, first of all, Brian Crawford over at the River's Edge, uh, he he was messaging me, and he did a video that uh, he shared over on the Awesome Cast page. He got one of these uh, Dex devices, and uh, uh, Chilla, I know you're you're very familiar with this on the show. Remind us again what a Dex is. So the Dex is for the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8. Um, allow you to take and um, connect your phone up and it is it is like a an old school dock for um, for a laptop but it's for your phone and it allows you to it has two USB ports an Ethernet port and a power port on the back um, so it pass through charges the device and it turns your phone into a computer when you plug it in there the phone does launch into kind of a dex os um, which i think brian's going to be showing here in a second yeah he's connected um, up to his television there yep. he's showing the phone connection yeah. uh, for you guys that are with us on the video and then and then it actually gives you a kind of windows based gui that works like you would think windows does it takes all of your android apps puts them in windows um there you can move them around on the screen alt tab switches between applications mm-hmm. um it works like a legitimate pc so he was really excited about this and he, he's been messaging me uh, uh, last week when he when he picked one of these up and I was talking about like he likes it so much. He's going to have one at home. He's going to try to pick up another one for at the studio. So that that's going to be where he does most of his stuff from from now on for what he's working, logging into the studio and doing things. Um, and there's actually some footage right there. If you guys are with us on video, there's the, the screen up there. He's got the, uh, uh, the keyboard out and everything like that. So it's a pretty nice setup. Yeah, it, I, I've been really impressed with how well it works. And if you are, Samsung did a really good job of taking, if you're programming correctly for Android that does like autoflow screen layout from phone to tablet and things of that nature, that it does a really good job of like window resizing and figuring out what the window aspect ratio is. Cause you can freeform drag a window Yeah. Um, that that aspect ratio is and tries to, to, to make the app look as good as it possibly can. Um, things like mail, um, even Google's native mail app and Samsung's native mail app um, look like kind of like a Google, actually more like a, an outlook view where it's your inbox is on the left hand side and there's a preview panel on the right. So that a lot of the screens will reformat and look like a desktop application versus the, the screen, the, 16 by 9 or or i can't remember what the new aspect 18 by something um but it does a really good job of reformatting the apps for the screen um they all sit there running simultaneously you can stack them next to each other it's great for if you think about your phone right think about how many phones you could fit across your screen um so you could get all those apps running simultaneously that'd be awesome that'd be great yeah, you know, where's where's Apple's version of this, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, it seems like at this point you can screen mirror, but you can't. It doesn't redo the UI. Where I think no. it was where they're they're missing. No, the no, absolutely. And and I've heard that um, Samsung has trademarked. So they obviously trademarked Dex Dock, because um, and Dex I think stands for Desktop Experience. Um, they've trademarked Dex Pad overseas already so i'm thinking we're going to see a wireless version of this where it's instead of being a dock where you have to plug it in you're just going to set it down on top of it and it's gonna gonna do its thing absolutely um we had another one uh shared here uh patreon or mike fedor 
uh, shared one about the FCC approved the first wireless distance power at a distance charging system. Uh, so this is a uh, the Watt Watt up Watt up W A T T up yes uh, midfield transmitter refills batteries from three feet away. I, I, know. Would, I would be nervous. You'd be nervous at that. <laughs> Like, am I going to get zapped? What's it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's the, it's the, it, yeah, it is the, it, do you really want one, extra arm? Do you really want 1.0 of the, of the thing that's uh, transmitting <laughs> electricity through the air uh, like this? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, Energis is a startup company uh, that uh, is uh, producing this. Um, it converts electricity into radio frequencies, then beams the energy to nearby. This, this listen, I, I'm not a scientist, but like, I don't, I, I don't know if I completely understand what's going on there. That electricity is being turned into radio frequencies and then turned back into electricity. You know, it, what would be really neat is if they can get everyone to agree to this as a spec and put it in everything. Yeah. And then you just have the transmitter on your desk and then everything that's within three feet of it. Cause I, I'm wondering, cause you have to get a dongle for all your devices, right? So- dongle drink. <laughs> You'll, you need a dongle for each device. There, I said it Dongle again. drink. <laughs> um, yeah, because this is, this is talking, even this is talking about, like, you can do all kinds of different devices. As long as you have the right receiver, you can, you or dongle. Dongle drink. There you go. Uh, you know, that, that you know, you, you could do Apple devices, Sony devices, Samsung devices here, supposedly. Yeah, and I've seen devices well, that have not been three feet away type things. Yeah. Transmi- transmitting wireless electricity but where it's kind of like a a dock or cradle that a phone would go into or even a case that's pretty thin that then you could plug in or wirelessly charge Mm -hmm. i just it's kind of one of those things where i have to keep taking this thing on and off or in and out i think the the point of this is needs to get to the point where it's it's the same across all your devices and they just charge without a wire or if you take a plug and plug it in it'll charge too but where i see it being benefit the, the true benefits when they get it integrated into the device and you don't have to plug in an extra peripheral heavily bobby cherry sent us a uh, video of vr mario kart i definitely want a vr mario kart um it's uh, apparently in this vr zone uh, uh, kind of amusement center in in uh, looks like it's in in Japan, and yeah, it's full on Mario Kart, and you're in a car, and you have a VR helmet and everything. Um, makes you kind of say, "Man, Nintendo, I really want you to get more into VR, because who doesn't want to do Mario Kart VR at this point?" Wow, Bowser's car looks huge in this thing. <laughs> this is great, and I don't know if this is based on like the I don't know everything's in like Japanese, so. Uh, that's along with this video, but it was just said, you know, Mario Kart and VR looks amazing. And yes, it does. So uh, looking forward to that coming over to the States and some like maybe David Busters will pick up something like this, right? That would be super awesome. That would be. Thanks, Bobby Cherry, for sharing that as well. And then Brandon shared probably the biggest, the biggest tech story, the biggest blowback tech story in the uh, past week. And there's an awesome side to it because now we get uh, $29 battery replacements. Uh, so maybe my 6S will last even that much longer at this point. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so apparently, uh, Apple has been officially slowing down your phone. Now here's everybody, you know, cause people have been, you know, saying, Oh, you hear what Apple has been doing is crap. I'm just like, yeah, but the reason they did it was so your phone crashes less. Well, it crashes less than it. The battery lasts longer. Yeah. In theory. And this is where they should have in, in my mind they should have been a upfront about what they were doing and absolutely b it should have been a toggle almost like low energy mode yeah is um i you they should have turned it off by default and said like it, almost like on the the first time you activate your phone you kind of get the little tips and tricks slideshow and stuff like that um it should have come up and said hey based on your battery life we're we're turning this feature on. If you want to turn it back off, go into settings and go here. Mm-hmm. They, they do that with a number of things. Um, but what I would say is as someone that's 
gotten batteries replaced in multiple phones. If you have an iPhone six or newer, um, and if especially if it's a six, if you bought a six or six S at launch, um, you're paying the two year mark on the six S. Yeah, I would go get the twenty nine dollar battery. Just go ahead and do that, Just right? I mean, even like you know, we we tr- we pass down our batteries. I know the five S is completely dead. Uh, which now that's not part of this deal is the, yeah. the five S unfortunately because I think it's a perfectly good phone. It is. It, that's know. what we did with the five because um we passed that down. Yeah, and the the five was getting I think a, about seven minutes of battery. Life. Oh yeah, I, I, oh I took it out because this thing's been sitting on the on the 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 uh, music player in the in the bathroom for the past like three years. Mm-hmm. So it, it has no reason to battery. It's, it's completely charged itself off. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, well, if I need to place that, because my, like, my, my dad's got like a four or four S and it runs fine. You just can't update anything because it's still running iOS seven mm-hmm. and won't even do like old apps or anything like that. And the GPS keeps getting him lost. So, <laughs> uh, Katie, have you been looking at this? I know, you know, you and, and, and members of your family are kind of all over the place in, 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 uh, versions of iPhones and things like that. Uh, have you been looking at this? So you, you, you might begin uh, uh, taking advantage of somebody with that uh, battery battery replacement. Probably my mom. She doesn't. It's amazing. Her battery's never really given her issues. Yeah. Um, which is pretty cool, and I can't complain because uh, the only I just updated her phone, the OS, because I don't know if when that's happened last. I didn't even look. <laughs> yeah. But she was happy. The, the issues, you know, were just kind of like the screen goes black, you get the white little spinny guy, like that kind of situation. So we updated that and it didn't seem to be happening much today, but yeah, I might just, you know, to be on the safe side because it's not going to hurt anything really. Uh, yeah. And I don't know if they put it in this, in the, the link that you have here, but there's, there's a couple um, decent battery test apps that are free where yes. you can see the healthier battery. Yes. Yeah. And they're, they're legitimate. Um, and Apple, when you go in, they will do, uh, a free battery check and tell you what the so so the quality so of this the is, is so it's just like going to advance auto <laughs> you go in and can I get a battery check make sure everything's okay and everything and, and they've done this one because i had an app problem where it, it was thrashing my battery when i think when i had a 5s and they had to do the, the replacement on it um because it was something with software it was just like chipping away at the battery really pushed the battery life of it and just killed it off right um so so yeah they they have those tools and it's, so it's nice that they're like yeah yeah i'll check it and then then you have that option right and you and they'll even check it they'll check it and even if they say you know your battery's good it's not excellent but it's good they they will yeah. get no regardless all you have to do is ask and you get the 29 dollar. that's good that's good and, and supposedly so. this shutdown slow or no, i'm sorry the slowdown issue if you replace your battery it, goes it will stop. This is not a we are slowing down all of the old things. This is a battery precaution, a battery triggered precaution, yep. which is actually kind of OK in the long run. Right. Yeah. And like I said, I, I think if they would have been up front of it and given you a toggle to say, I'm OK with having less battery life. I'm, I'm OK with my battery dying in a half an hour if I get better performance for right, the half hour. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think the problem is, is that people don't read and then they wouldn't understand and then it would just be more confusion. But I, I think they should have given you the option. It's like maybe like 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 this is like, you know, hey, we got to fix this problem. It, it felt like, hey, we need to fix this problem. Phones are crashing. All right. How do we fix it? Well, we can cycle down the clock. Mm-hmm. They, they, they're, they're really what they're doing is slowing down the clock speed on your phone um, in order to make it not push too fast with the newer software, kill your battery. Cause there's, I mean, you know, it's, I've been having to describe to people when they're like, well, when I upgrade, my phone doesn't work. It's like, well, when you upgrade from windows XP to seven, I know that's a dated reference. Okay. Windows eight to 10. Like what happens? You have a newer operating system on older hardware that's what happens. It's going to slow down. It's going to get, I don't know, weird, I guess. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's tough too, because, I don't feel like on my and and I know I have a usually have a newer device. I don't feel like I take on the first upgrade. I don't feel like I take a hit yeah. in quality of of device. Um, it, and uh, I never get to that second year mark, to be honest with you. But it never seems to be a huge issue where I see people having issue is they're getting poor battery life, but they're getting it because they're constantly in an area with low signal. So the battery has to kick in to help out with the actual modem. 
to to do things or they run their screen at the as bright as possible at all times even in the dark when they're practically blinding themselves but they want the brightest they want their bright screen brightness at 100 percent 24 hours a day um there, there's so many things that can go into what can cause a battery to deplete it is so hard to actually figure out what's occurring the, the first day after the the device upgrade or the os upgrade the device re-indexes itself so it thrashes the disk i mean the, there's it's so it's so hard to tell and there's there's a lot of good articles on your nine to five maps mac mac and your your i more and, and even android central for android to kind of give you tips and tricks of try of how to figure out what's going on on your device which includes you know put the put the device in in um uh airplane mode and put it down with the with Wi-Fi and everything turned off for an hour and what's the battery percentage change and mm -hmm. go check the, the settings app in battery to see what, what applications are hitting the battery the hardest percentage wise. And it, it's, it's, it's work to figure out why your battery is depleting. It's not just, it, it doesn't necessarily have to do with age. Absolutely. And speaking of people using their phones, uh, Katie, uh, you, you have a uh, story about uh, app sales over Christmas. Yeah, I didn't realize, honestly, I didn't realize that app sales were such a big deal on Christmas Day mm -hmm. um, because I just, it was not something that occurred to me. But I guess this year they spent, consumers spent $200 million on apps on Christmas Day alone. This was up 12% from last year. It's insane. And they, most of them were not games. It sounded like a lot of them were actual just other apps, mm -hmm. uh, including like HBO Go and things like more of the entertainment streaming apps. But $200 million. <laughs> How many so everybody got their new phones and downloaded all the apps. How many people give Google Play and Apple like iTunes gift cards. gift cards? I mean, you got <laughs> you, you got <laughs> things like, hey, here's a twenty dollar gift card, and you're going to go spend all twenty bucks on like, oh, I can get this, this, and this, right? Or I can get a month of HBO. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because because that's the thing. If you get like HBO, um, not now, yeah, yeah, now, now, not go. You can yeah. actually subscribe to it through the phone, right? Yeah. Like like yeah. most of those offer that, right? So, yeah. So that yeah. that counts. So mm -hmm. it's like, hey, I got the new iPhone, whatever, or the new Samsung, whatever. And you just sign up for all the things you wanted to mm -hmm. that you've been waiting for because you had the broken ass, you know, one, two, three, four year old iPhone or whatever else you had. Right. So it makes sense. Absolutely. Uh, how many how many things did you buy, Katie, on Christmas Day? <laughs> I, I downloaded everything I downloaded was free and easy. Like I just, I was big into, I found a couple new apps. I actually downloaded three new apps on my phone. Exciting. Uh, one that reminds me to drink water. One that literally keeps track of my money. <laughs> like there's no like fanciness. It's just like, you have X amount of dollars. Look at you being all practical over there. I know. I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened. <laughs> water. I got a reminder on my phone. I set up for myself every day that I completely ignore all this coffee. As you can hear by my voice. Mm. I think, mm -hmm. I think I I've used I'm the... trying. I got my glass of water right here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Trying to be LB. better at it. Trying to be better at it. You know, the usuals. Like, I need to drink more water. Eat some better mm -hmm. stuff. Get on that treadmill. Does the drink know? does the drink water thing work with Apple Watch? Do you know? Um, I, believe, I don't remember if that one did. I remember I looked at two, but one of them did and one of them did not. Okay. I don't know how to look. That's a good idea. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice reminder. I mean, it's not pushy. It's just kind of like, hey, by the way, by the way, you should drink some. But it's, like, it's not like every hour where it's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shut up. Does it track if you drank and how much you drank? Um, you enter it in, which is All kind right, of I mean, it's not too bad. You just put in how many ounces you drink. Uh, the free version of the one I have is um, it gives you the options of coffee, water, and tea. So you can it'll count for that. Like if you pay, <laughs> you pay money. It'll <laughs> tell you like if you keep track if you drink juice and stuff, like how much actually counts towards your water total. Okay. Nice. All I right, I, me, I, I spent uh, I spent a bunch of money on the Oculus sale I found yesterday because I happened to be uh, getting the uh, you know the gear and you know trying to get in some games because I was playing with Chachi's uh, PlayStation VR he picked up over the holiday, uh, which is pretty cool by the way. Compares I think pretty well next to Oculus and Vive. Better, you can tell it's two point right? Because it's like it fits over your head and not this whole I got to suction this thing to the front of my face. It feels like with a lot of those early um, um, ones, mm -hmm. even the Gear VR, I think, to a point. It's like it fits on your head and then the thing slides into front of your face. Um, looks awesome. 
feels great. You know, the games that we played, uh, but things like he, he had a game on there called Darknet. And he's just like, yeah, I had an Oculus and I just picked it up for PlayStation. So I went and found that they had a huge sale. A bunch of stuff was a dollar on the Oculus nice. store. Uh, I, I think I spent like ten dollars a game. So I think I spent four dollars on the game that he was showing me. Darknet um, picked up things like um, um, are those sales still going on? Uh, that when I when I posted it, there were thirteen hours left. So yeah, I think you might be out on on something like that there, Chilla. Um, but but they might be still. It was like the winter on encore sale. So I think it's something they also popped up. Uh, just just kind of real quick. And it, it, uh, Steam's doing like an encore sale now too. Maybe that's what I was thinking. But uh, um, uh, keep talking and nobody explodes was a was a dollar on there, which I, I recommend for anybody. But then you got to pick that's that's a friends game and it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, things like that and just stuff that looked interesting. Wands I wanted to try out. Uh, you know, a game where you're like skydiving. Uh, I think it was called Rift or something like that. Um, you know, it, so you know a lot a little bit of uh, this and that uh through there one is like what's called like a it was like a metroidvania type of game i'm kind of curious what that's going to be like it looks like it's a side scroller uh in vr which there was actually a cool one with the playstation where it was it was a platformer that you played but you're in vr following this little robot guy and controlling him you know seeing those kind of different aspects that people are doing with games has been kind of cool with that so i forgot where i was going with that uh <laughs> oh hey chill up Yes. The water app is compatible with your uh, your watch. Okay. It's called My Water Balance. I'll put it in the okay. chat. But yeah. Cool. So it is compatible with your watch. I'm going to go get it. There you go. Um, Chilla. Yes, sir. Tell me about... Um, you, you had something else about wireless charging as well. So there, there's, um, I saw this today. I thought it was a... I think it's an interesting idea... I'd want to see it up and close to um, figure out how thick it is because I'm I'm not getting a good concept from from the pictures on there because it looks a lot bigger than I would think it is. Okay. Um, but Avito's new Wiba Wiba wireless charging power bank. W I B A. Yeah, it's a it's a portable battery pack like you would think of a battery pack, but it uses the chi charging on both sides of it. So they actually have a power mat that you can put wherever in your house, whether it's on your nightstand, on the coffee table, wherever you can put your phone on top of it and it'll charge your phone. You can put this power bank on top of it. It'll charge the power bank and then you can pull the power bank off and charge your phone or with the power bank sitting on top of the charge mat, you can then layer your phone on top of that and it'll charge both of them. So and it actually holds, I think, three. It's the equivalent of three of the iPhone tens um, battery life. So it's like oh like wow, five thousand milliamps. So it's gonna last hours. forever. It's gonna yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I get a I get a full day out of my my ten right now. So with 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 no problem, I have plenty of percent to spare. Um, it is a hundred dollars, so it's a little on the expensive side. But when you think about it, you're getting a portable battery pack and a wireless charging mat. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd be interested to see if they would sell it without the charging mat, because um, I have a bunch of charging mats. But I, I thought the concept was really cool. I really liked the the, the idea, um, and just having that device that it, it looks about three iPhones thick, which is why I'm thinking that it looks thick to me but i'm guessing i'm not either it's an artist rendering i'd be surprised yeah it, look, it looks kind of not real from yeah. this picture <laughs> a little bit so and so, that's over on imore of course so um chill this actually might be something interesting for you I mean, you do have an android phone so this would work for you um apparently google maps is going to let you know when to get off the bus or the train i'm interested to see how this would work mm-hmm um, because when you get off you don't have any service so yeah. some yeah some because well, you're underground yeah when i get off i well i usually have one bar because mm-hmm. i can catch a pokemon outside and, and and hold on to it all the way nice all the way through but um at least to my building i know going to the next the next hop it's 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 a it's i can't but um i'll be interested to see how 
how that would work. I think that'd be helpful, especially then, on the bus side, right? Yeah, especially on the bus side. Um, even on the train side, especially at night, I have to pay very close attention to when the stop is before mine. So I know that mine's the next stop kind of thing because it's mm-hmm. dark out. If the trains are going fast enough. You, you have a platform stop, don't you? I have a platform okay. stop. So you have to um, kind of watch what you're I, I just mean, have to watch. That's even worse on buses or if you have a, you know, for us with the train, like if you have lower platform, because it all looks the same, right? And right. It's dark and it's dark and you have to, yeah. you have to pay attention to the signs to see because they, because nope. oh, oh, it's done. <laughs> Bagel bites are done. Because the, <laughs> the, um, if, if no one's getting off at a stop too, though, it goes by the stop so fast. It doesn't like, I can't it. see and it doesn't yeah. announce it right. I can't see that. Like, you don't the have a stop with Stevenson. Yeah. That you kind of you don't have so. a big sign, yeah. especially on buses and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it can get difficult. So I, I think that's going to be more helpful for, for bus goers than anything. Uh, so it's good to see that that's still expanding. And, of course, it'll probably come to iOS as well. I thought you'd be interested in this, too, because um, I know we've talked about this probably at that pretty good length. Cody comes full circle and returns to the Xbox. Now, Cody started <laughs> as uh, XBMC, XBMC, which was based on... The original Xbox, which was something that you could put on the original Xbox. You had to hack. I mean, you, you had, had to hack the, the original yeah. Xbox, which was a Pentium Three CPU. It's a PC, right? Um, and and now it's an app on the Xbox. I'm super excited for this. Um, they the, the issue I have with it right now because it's obviously an early development and the. They, they they weren't sure why if it's just because it's early an early version, but their UWP app um, does not support the majority of network file shares. Okay. Um, A UWP it, Universal Windows platform. Okay. So this is what makes it work on this app will work on the Xbox on a Windows desktop on a laptop on okay. Windows 10 S um, the whole Windows 10 gamut including Xbox. Um, that's where the universal comes in. Um, the two things that they weren't supporting and no one was sure if it was because of limitations in the APIs available on Xbox or, or what, but it only supported one network file share type and it wasn't um, SIF and it wasn't Samba. It was, uh, I can't remember what it was. Um, I think it was some Windows uh, thing. And then it did not support direct usb hard drives or the blu-ray drive okay so you so to get media to it um obviously it can handle streaming services can handle other things but from a internal file share or trying to get a bunch of content on there um you were kind of limited that's where i could foresee even picking up an, an older x another xbox one just to do that and i had, uh, wait, I had, wait, I had another, an xbox wait, wait, one snafu wait, wait. another went, original xbox or another xbox one another xbox <laughs> one another Jeez. original xbox one because you have the one you have the one s <laughs> you have the one x which my one broke. oh that's big that's getting even more confusing my though. one broke over the no way season. yeah I, I went to plug it in and it doesn't power on oh no so i'm the proud, you're making me worried about the one i got used now i'm the proud owner of an xbox one x Jeez. <laughs> and problem solved. Yes. Jeez. But I, I'm well, interested. If I, if I ever need parts for mine, I'll give you a call. But yeah. Mm. I'm interested because it's, it's something to do with the power supply. Um, and no one had an actual Xbox One power supply. That you could buy. That I could buy. I found some refurb yeah. type things on Amazon, which makes me leery. Yeah. The one thing I may do, do you have the original Xbox I one? Believe the black so. one? I believe so. I believe so. You have the so. big power brick. Yes, it's huge. It's How does something that big have an even huger brick? Yes. Um, <laughs> the brick what is like is a quarter this of the device. So I may it bring is. you I may bring it you is. my Xbox One and ask you to take it home Listen, with it, you it shot, and just it. plug it into your power brick. To well, see if yeah, just, just on. remind me, I'll bring it here next. Or bring the power yeah, brick, yeah. yeah. Um, it, you know, it was really amazing. So I visited uh, 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 an uncle. Uh, they were having a Christmas dinner, and you know, everybody's swinging by. And and, and then apparently, his son gave him an Xbox One so he could watch Blu-rays. <laughs> 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 I just got the biggest kick out of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it, but I guess that's where. I mean, it's it's old enough. I'm sure you can pick up the original Xbox Ones for pretty cheap at this point. I mean, it's just like, here, take this PlayStation 2 so you can watch DVDs, you know, at a certain point, right? Yeah. 
So it's, and the one the one S I think was all the way down below two fifty mm-hmm. at Christmas time. So Stuff I'm guessing that. those prices are just going to keep. Falling. Also, also got to play a little more with the Switch. Like Switch. so, you you you're playing with that. I, I don't know, Katie. Have you had much uh, experience with that yet? I got to play with the oh the new Ooh. Mario game. Uh, yes. Yes, it's Honestly. so good. I got to play the with demo. The I got to play the demo at a Walmart. I was really excited about it. You know, it's really good. My brother got it for Christmas, so we played it for a while. It's it's awesome. My, my brother's had one for a little bit, and uh, and uh, we were playing uh, the Dragon Ball game, and because my nephew's a big Dragon Ball fan, you know, both of them are bigger Dragon Ball fans than I am. But I I, I have a couple. I was actually breaking out my Budokai uh, games that I have for PlayStation Two last night. I was going through the old stuff. And, uh, you know, it was like, you know, you break off the joy con joy cons and it was like, just like the commercial, like this thing is propped up and we're playing it like, <laughs> like, you know, just on the little tablet. And then, and then my brother goes and gets his, uh, doc hooks it up to the TV and we're playing it full screen, the same Neat. game. And it was really cool to kind of see that transition happen. Also, he had it like weirdly in like grabbing distance, I guess, to, to to have the dock available, um, but that that is selling me on it. But other than the Nintendo games, I don't see much special about the games on there because I'm afraid and feel that uh, all the third party games you would want, you kind of still it, like it still feels like the old Nintendo problem. Anything that you actually want to play that's not from Nintendo, get somewhere else. You know, oh, you, oh, oh, you oh. need the Nintendo thing plus an Xbox or a PlayStation to get kind of what you want out of gaming, right? I, I'm interested to see what they do this year because I think it's better. It's better than the Wii situation. So, because so, Wolfenstein came to it, they redid Doom for right. it. They, they started, but again, everything, the everything's caught. like we ad- or uh, Switch edition and and things like that, right? To like, I didn't think that Wolfenstein. I thought it had it was okay, all the same but, content. But, but Doom said like a certain edition to it and, and all this. That, yeah, that I, I wasn't, so like that makes me think. Oh, but, but I thought it was a remastered edition. Okay, maybe because maybe. Doom was not. I mean, we're talking Pentium. No, no, no. Is it Doom or is it the new Doom? Because they, they did a Doom they, 4 or something that I just thought came that out was recently. A Doom, Doom, like re, old version of Doom. Oh, I don't know. Or something. I, I could be wrong. I could be totally off. Um, because I've heard them saying that um, Marvel versus Capcom, the reason it wasn't built for Switch was because they, they weren't certain that Switch would catch. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if because now we're seeing these ridiculous sales amounts for the Switch... If we'll we'll see more of the mainstream games for the device, because the processor's there, it's 720p, so the size isn't there. The one thing that I did hear that was supposed to be out by the first of the year was their cartridges are only Nintendo only manufactures, I think, up to a 16 or I think it's 32 six, 32 gig cartridge. Yeah, and they're, they're supposed to be coming out with larger ones of those, so gaming manufacturers can put more. We're con- back. More, we're back to data. the. We're back to the old days of the cartridge size. Yeah, you know. But, I mean, come on now. I mean, I can get a, a hundred and twenty eight gig micro SD card for mm-hmm. twenty bucks. But there's probably manufacturing restrictions on that. Yeah. To, to do to do the way that they have those cards. That's not my problem. It's uh, not your problem. It's Nintendo's problem. It's all about <laughs> yields, man. It's all about production yields. You don't yeah. know how it is with whatever they have to make in China these days, right? That's got to be getting harder. So, um, so I yeah I I'm really oof, I'm getting there on the switch. That's that's a that's a this year purchase for sure. Um, for those kinds of things, there's enough games out for it too. So, all right. Well, on that note, hey Katie, what's going on with you? Where can people see what's happening with you? Other than ta- people, short people wanting to take pictures of us at the arena. <laughs> It's a new thing. We should charge a service. Come take pictures with tall people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's working on scare stuff. Scare, scary house stuff. There we scary go. Scary house stuff. <laughs> scary house stuff. But yeah, we'll be doing some stuff with that. Some might want to be on the email list soonish. There and you stuff. go. And, you know, stuff happens around Valentine's Day. And you can catch up with the videos and everything on your uh, Facebook and your YouTube page for the scare house. Yes. Watch me freeze. It's fun. Yes. Uh, look for the one that has her on it. Uh, there's other scarehousey things. If you yeah, don't... it doesn't have to be me. You can watch other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's <laughs> That's how you know me. you're at the right one, right? Uh, you just scare house PGH on the social medias, right? Yes. So. Yes. Pittsburgh. There you go. K Dutters on the Twitter. Um, yep. Chilla is it Sh- at Chilla on the Twitters? John Chilla on the Facebook. Chilla, and remember, next week I th- um, think CES kicks off on Tuesday. Oh, geez, I'm never prepared for CES, so we may have some CES yeah. content because doesn't a lot of that stuff leaks over the weekend? I think. Yeah, it, it's there's no it like it's all like announced the night of. Yeah. The, the thing I always love, and I haven't looked at it for a while. Um, Twit always does a walkthrough of the Showstoppers floor. Mm-hmm. That's always interesting to me because it's like little gadgets, more realistic stuff, you know, things like that. Um, I don't know if Father Wilder Ballister is doing it anymore because I know he's going to the Vatican. Okay. So, um, are they doing a CES? What's the Vatican? Okay. I, I, I don't know, but, but apparently they're. <laughs> I know we're talking about another podcast, but I love that. He's going to the Vatican and he's starting his own twit like studio at the Vatican, apparently. Huh. I did I did I did a I, video I to him for a, a while. I mean, either he would just happen to be on like the year end stuff for Twitter. Okay. And like that that the Vatican is making a video internet video podcast, you know, studio thing there is really cool hmm. that like they're getting on board this. But then again, we know, you know, if you you listen to the same podcast I do that they've been into Google Hangouts and streaming and stuff too. Mm-hmm. So I think that's really uh, that's that's awesome and forward thinking of that institution. Mm-hmm. So to, to hear that stuff like that is happening. So um and of course Sorgatron on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com. We got a lot of great podcasts and even some more on the drawing board uh coming up here in the next several months over there. Everything uh geeky and 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 community and and, and some great conversations going on uh over there. And of course wrestling, because that's kind of where we start with stuff. Uh so mm-hmm. looking forward to see what's coming in 2018. Uh we have some guests lined up uh joining us here on the show. Uh, Brian Conway is going to be joining us from Tripsburg, as well as Ryan Haggerty of Haggerty Media is going to be returning to the show, uh, of course, of uh, Blood on the Leaves uh, fame. And uh, go check out his interview on the awesome chat in the archives and check out all the other stuff in there. And you can join us here live.awesomecast.net when the internet works. And man, I'm going to be calling those other guys to see if they can get working <laughs> internet in here at this point. Uh, it's been really sad and depressing. Uh, but anyways, check out awesomecast.com uh, for all the shows and information. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our awesome audience. It's been hanging with us through the technical troubles. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.